For this segment, we want to discuss your climbing system and whether or not you're incorporating a friction saver into that system. So when you're running a rope in a climbing system over a natural crotch, you have inconsistent friction and you're damaging the tree and you're gonna damage your rope. When you incorporate a friction saver into your climbing system, you're going to extend the life of your rope and you're actually gonna find where you have more consistent friction throughout your climbing system. How does this relate to your climbing system? If you're using a 24 strand through a natural crotch, you may see that the life of the rope is decreased. Although it is not required, it is best practice to use a friction saver when using a 24 strand climbing line. So for the porter wrap, this is a really unique tool that can be a very effective piece to incorporate into your rigging system. Uh, for the longest time, people used to just use wraps around the tree, uh, which works, but there again, you're damaging the tree and you're also damaging the rope. And for the groundman, it's, uh, it's very difficult to become consistent with how many wraps you would need around this tree versus something that's larger in diameter or smaller in diameter. So with the porter wrap, you can find the consistency with the amount of wraps that you need for the load that you're, you're lowering. It's not harming the tree, you just connect it to a sling. And also for the groundman, you can step away from the drop zone. So you can pick whichever area is safest for you to be while the load is dropping.